The Penetron system consists of five different products, each designed to suit a specific application. Penetron, the original product that gives this crystalline system its name, is applied as a coating by brush or spray onto new or existing concrete structures. The other products are Penacrete, Penaplug, Penetron Admix, and Penetron Plus. It is important that the exact application instructions are followed for each different product. We will now discuss each of the products and its application in more detail. Penetron is a powder containing crystalline base materials, special purpose cement, and other aggregates. It is mixed with water and then applied by brush or spray onto existing structures. A high pressure water blast is ideal for removing dust, oil, and other dirt from the surface, cleaning the surface to ensure an open capillary system, and wetting the concrete to prepare it for receiving the Penetron coating. Extremely smooth surfaces should be sandblasted or otherwise mechanically opened up. The surface preparation is very important to ensure a successful Penetron application. All active leaks need to be stopped with Penaplug. Cracks and other surface damage are repaired with Penacrete and a thorough water blast ensures that the concrete is clean and damp and the capillaries are open. Now we are ready to apply Penetron. Penetron products are highly alkaline and like all cementitious materials can cause serious skin injury. Therefore always use rubber gloves when preparing and applying Penetron products. The Penetron slurry should have the consistency of a thick latex paint. This is normally achieved by adding about 0.4 liters of water to 1 kilogram of Penetron powder. In order to achieve the right consistency, it is advisable to add the water to Penetron and not the reverse. Only prepare as much product as you can apply within 20 to 25 minutes. To prevent the slurry from stiffening too quickly, keep stirring and working the material on a regular basis during its application. Penetron is ideally applied with a synthetic fiber brush. However, for very large surfaces, spray equipment is frequently used. The Penetron coating has to be applied in two layers. The coverage varies with the surface and site conditions, but is usually at 0.7 to 0.8 kilograms per square meter per coat, normally resulting in a total surface coverage after two coats of between 1.4 to 1.6 kilograms per square meter. The second coat can be applied as soon as the first coat is dry to the touch, but time between coats should not exceed six hours. Penetron should not be applied in temperatures below 0 degrees centigrade to frozen or frosted concrete surfaces or during rain or snowfall. The Penetron coating is only used for treating the concrete surface. All joints, cracks, honeycombs, and so forth should be treated with Penacrete mortar. Active leaks should be stopped with Penaplug. Penacrete is a crystalline mortar for protecting joints and repairing cracks, honeycombs, form tie holes, etc., as well as structurally damaged concrete. Penacrete is to be used in combination with Penetron to soundly waterproof structures. It can be used as a standalone product to restore damaged concrete not directly exposed to water. First, we start by removing all dirt, latents, paint, dust, etc., either mechanically or by means of high-pressure water blasting. Then we continue by routing out all cracks larger than 0.4 millimeters and create a U-shaped indent approximately 25 millimeters wide and 25 millimeters deep. Remove the fragile upper layer from any surface that is spalling, cavities, or other surface damage by means of a pneumatic chipper, chisel, or metal brush. Thoroughly remove all dust as well. Finally, wet the indent surface prior to application of the Penacrete. Now that the damaged areas have been prepared for repair, we are ready to start mixing the product for application. Make sure to wear rubber gloves when preparing and applying Penacrete. Penacrete powder should be mixed with water to obtain the consistency of plasticine or modeling clay. The approximate mixing ratio is 100 milliliters of water to 450 grams of Penacrete powder. Pour the water into the Penacrete powder, not the reverse. In order to prolong the workability of the product, try to keep stirring and working the mortar periodically during the course of the application. Do not mix more materials than is required for application within 20 to 30 minutes. Once the mixture has been prepared, do not add extra water later on. The indents previously prepared first should be primed by brush with a coat of Penetron. Within two to six hours after priming, 
start filling the indents with penicrete by hand or by means of a filling knife. In case a thick layer is required, apply penicrete in several steps in laminated layers of a maximum of 6 centimeters. If you come across areas with spalling or holes, the surface should be primed with penetron in the same way. Penicrete should then again be applied in laminating layers not exceeding 6 centimeters until the desired surface profile is achieved. However, make sure to wait between 2 and 6 hours before applying consecutive layers of penicrete. As soon as the applied penicrete mortar sets, normally within 1 to 2 hours after application, the top surface should be treated with a coat of penetron. Do not apply penicrete at a temperature below 0 degrees Celsius or to frozen or frosted surfaces. Penicrete should not be applied in moving joints. Use expansion joint materials for this application. Penaplug is a fast-setting cementitious compound for stopping active leaks. It also incorporates the penetron crystalline base material and has the ability to stop water leakage permanently, even under high hydrostatic pressure. Start by thoroughly cleaning the leaking area to be treated. You can use a metal brush or other suitable tool. Remove the remnants of concrete, mortar, and other debris that may be present. If the width or depth of the crack or leaking area is less than 20 millimeters, it should be enlarged up to this size. The best results can be achieved when the internal part of the crack or leaking area is larger than the surface opening, that is, in the form of an inverted cone, as this provides an internal cavity which offers the penaplug room for expansion and thereby enables penaplug to resist permanent high water pressure. Mix penaplug with clean water in a clean plastic container. Pour water onto the penaplug, not the reverse. The key with penaplug is to use very little water, just enough to keep the product from falling apart. The penaplug mixing time should not exceed two minutes. Only prepare as much material as can be applied within three minutes. When the product develops a putty-like consistency, and after the water is added, immediately knead it into a shape similar to the profile of the cavity to be repaired. Be sure to wear rubber gloves while working with Penaplug as it is not only highly alkaline but gets quite hot as well. To stop the active leak, prepare the required amount of the Penaplug mixture. Mold it into the desired shape by hand and wait until the mixture begins to set. Do not wait too long as Penaplug will lose its plasticity and could then develop cracks during the application. Force penaplug into the prepared cavity and compact the material by hand or by using a wooden dowel or other suitable tool you have handy. Then press and hold hard. Depending on the surface temperature, the material should be held pressed in place between 30 and 90 seconds. If you are working in low temperatures, the penaplug setting will be slower. Once the first wedge is in place and holding, you can apply additional material you have previously prepared until the leak stops. Remove the residual product with a knife or other hard tool as soon as possible after stopping the leak. Note that only about half the cavity is to be filled with penaplug. The remaining half receives a bond coat of penetron, then filled up with penicrete, after which the top surface is finished with a coat of penetron. Penetron Admix is a crystalline waterproofing product specially formulated to be applied as an admixture to concrete. It provides complete integral waterproofing and enhances concrete properties. It has proven itself to be highly effective at saving time and money on countless projects. Penetron Admix is added to concrete at the time of batching at a minimum of 0.8% of the cement weight in the mix. Under special circumstances, dosages of between 1 and 3% are allowed. In order to ensure a uniform distribution throughout the concrete, it should first be mixed with the aggregates or water. The dosing methods for Penetron Admix varies among the many types of ready mix and precast batching plants. Check with your Penetron representative or review the Penetron literature for recommended instructions. The method demonstrated here shows Penetron Admix first being mixed with water to form a very thin slurry, which is then poured into the drum of the ready mix truck. The other concrete ingredients like cement, sand, water, and aggregates should be batched and mixed in the plant as usual, taking into account the quantity of water that has already been placed in the truck with Penetron Admix. 
The concrete should continue to be mixed for at least five minutes after Penetron Admix has been added to ensure a uniform distribution. Do not add Penetron Admix directly to wet concrete, as this may cause clumping. The already waterproof concrete is then poured into place in accordance with standard good practice. There is no need for any further waterproofing materials to be applied afterwards, thus saving time and money on the project. Penetron Plus is a dry shake crystalline waterproofing product designed for application to horizontal concrete surfaces where good wear resistance and waterproofing properties are required. The fresh concrete slab is placed in accordance with standard good practice. Once the concrete begins to set and can be walked on, apply Penetron Plus in powder form to the still plastic concrete. Use a sieve or other suitable tool at hand to dry shake Penetron Plus onto the surface. It should be applied as uniformly as possible. The dosage should be measured to be about 0.5 to 0.7 kilograms per square meter. Once the dry Penetron Plus powder has absorbed the moisture from the concrete slab, start the floating process, either by hand or by power trowel, commonly known as the helicopter. This again is done in accordance with standard concrete placement practice. Penetron Plus penetrates rapidly into the setting concrete due to the moisture in its plastic state. The active crystalline materials are troweled into the concrete surface, eliminating the need for initial surface penetration. It provides an effective and efficient way to integrally waterproof horizontal concrete slabs. We hope you now have a better understanding of how the Penetron system works and how it is applied. If you have further questions, please contact your local Penetron representative. Thank you for your attention.